In this lecture, we want to begin our study of correlation and regression. And what the main concept of correlation and regression is, is what we want to do is we want to study the relationship between two variables. Okay, uh, like for example, um, in one of my first lectures for this class, I talked about um, want to study the relationship between maybe something like uh, how many how large a house is its square footage and its sale price, right? Like there's some relationship there. So we want to put uh, some numerical measure to that, which would be correlation. And then what we want to do is we want to model the relationship with the mathematical equation. That's regression. But before we do that, I want to talk about this concept called scatter plots. And what this is, is this is a visual representation. of the relationship between the variables. It's a visual representation. All right, so I'm still, we're gonna work with this example here. So your instructor is interested in seeing the amount of time students spend studying has, uh, has an influence on their grade. See if the amount of time students spend studying has an influence on the grade. And you would think so, right? You would think The more you study, the better your grade. You would think that, right? So, so, so let's actually investigate that and see if that's true. So for a recent exam in his statistics course, your instructor randomly samples eight students and he observes the following data. And now we're gonna use this data set throughout uh, this lecture and the next two or three lectures as well. Um, so keep it handy. So here, here's the data I have. I have data on the hours of study and the exam scores they got. And say this was the hours of study uh, the week prior to the exam. Okay, so somebody studied for one hour, they got a 50. Somebody studied for two hours, they got a 54. You can keep going and looking through the data. I have hours of study one, two, three, four, and then I skip five. And then I have hours of study for six, seven, eight, nine. And I have corresponding exam scores. And here's what you're seeing, okay? You're seeing as hours of study increase so does uh, exam grade which is what you would think which is exactly what you would think but now what we want to do is uh, now we want to begin our mathematical analysis of this relationship okay so the first thing we have when we have two two variables is we identify them as what's called the response variable and something called the explanatory or predictor variable. Okay, so we have an explanatory variable and a predictor or, excuse me, an explanatory variable or predictor variable, and then we have a response variable. Okay, so the response variable is the variable whose value can be explained by the value of the explanatory or predictor variable. So what's happening here is you have one variable that you think is a predictor or explains the value of the other one. Okay, so in our class, we're generally going to mark the explanatory variable as the independent variable, which you'll always get denoted as the x variable. And the response variable will be denoted as the dependent variable or the y variable. So for our example here, which value or which variable do you think explains the other one? Well, I think that someone's hour of study, hours of study explains or, or is the predictor of their exam score. Okay, so here we have our x variable is the hours of study and our y variable is obviously there, therefore the exam score. Okay, so what we want to do now is show a visual representation of this relationship. And this is what's called a scatter plot. So a scatter plot, or sometimes you might hear it referred to as a scatter diagram, is a graph that shows relationship between two quantitative variables measured on the same individual. So going back, you know, even though there's two variables here, only one individual has this corresponding va two values. One individual has these two corresponding values, and so on. All right. Each individual in the data set is represented by a point in the scatter diagram or scatter plot here. And think about it as these plots are, are plotted as ordered pairs. So 
So we plot it as ordered pairs, just like the x, y plots that you would learn in, in your algebra class. Okay, so the explanatory variable is plotted on the horizontal axis, obviously the x-axis, and the response variable is plotted on the vertical axis or the y-axis. All right, so first here what I want to do is I want to show you how to do this um, by hand. Okay, so along the horizontal axis, you get your x variable or hours of study. So I'm going to mark, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And along the vertical axis, you get the y or your response variable here, which is exam grade. All right. So I'm going to start down here at uh, 50 at the start here, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 100. All right, so just plot it as ordered pairs. 1, 50. Boom, right there. 2, 54. I'm going to eyeball this a little bit. 3, 60 here and so on you can see what I'm doing here 4 comma 65 there's no value for 5 6 comma 78 7 comma 82 8 comma 85 and then finally 9 comma 88 and it's not perfect because I did this by hand, but you get you get the idea here. Oh, some of the values went away. Sorry about this. Putting them back. And you can see here just by my scatter plot here, my scatter diagram you can see the relationship, okay? Each one of these plots represents an ordered pair. And it looks like it looks like what you're seeing here in this relationship, it looks almost like a straight line. So it looks like there's a linear relationship. All right, it's not a perfect one. Like I can't draw a straight line through, through all the points, but it's, I can draw a straight line that approximates it. So this is definitely looks like a linear relationship. Okay, and if you remember from algebra, it's sloping up, so it looks like this is a positive linear relationship. We can also use our calculator for this. So you can see here, I have this scatter plot on the calculator, so I'm going to show you now how to do this on your calculator. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take your data and you're gonna to have to plug it into your calculator. So I'm gonna hit the stat button and under number one, I'm gonna edit the list. <clears throat> and when you do this in your calculator, the X variable always goes under L1. So that's hours of study. Now you have to be careful to put it in, in, in the order that you're given. So notice I skipped the five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then L2 always gets the Y variable here. So 50, 54, and, th and these two values have to match up, like the one has to correspond to the 50 and so on. <clears throat> the next thing you have to do is you just have to make sure your stat plot is turned on. So I'm gonna hit second function stat plot and you see on my calculator, I, I reset my calculator before this lecture, but it says plot one dot 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 off. You just have to make sure that it's on. And this right here is the scatter plot. So, so if you have, were following along from a previous lecture, you might have had this selected. So if you see this, just scroll over to here and make sure this one is selected. Next, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to zoom your calculator to the data. So hit the zoom button. And you're going to look for the option that says zoom stat. And boom, right there, the calculator gives you the scatter plot. 
All right, I personally think mine by hand is a little bit better. <laughs> Just kidding around, but this is how the calculator shows you the scatter plot. Okay, and scatter plots, what they do are these scatter diagrams. Um, they explain the relationship, okay? So the visual explains the relationship. Okay, between the variables. So when you see a scatter plot that looks like this, it looks like a straight line going upward. This is a linear relationship. This is a positive linear relationship because it's sloping upward. When you see a relationship like this, this that's going downward in a straight line, this is also um, a uh, linear relationship. Okay, this one is negative. So it's explaining the relationship. These, these scatter plots are explanatory. It's explaining that this relationship is a positive linear. It's explaining that this one is a negative linear. This looks like a parabola. When you see a scatter plot like this, it's explanatory. It's just saying, hey, this graph is nonlinear. Same with this. This looks like a cubic of some type here. Okay, it's explanatory. And when you see a scatter plot like this that has no discernible pattern, Okay, like even if you add more data here and it was just all over the place. Okay, this scatter plot is still explanatory. It's saying, hey, look, there's no relationship between the data. So the, for this class, we're going to primarily focus on scatter plots that look like these two right here. Okay, class. I hope that helped.